Hey everyone, Renee here. So excited to do this video. It is so long overdue, but I finally feel that I'm at a point where I can truly properly review the Hada Labo lotions, all of them, all the different colors. So Hada Labo came onto my radar, I would say well over a decade ago, because they were just all over um, the drugstores in Asia. So Manning's, Watson's, Sasa even, I believe. At that time, and really for a while afterwards, it's intimidating because all the packaging is written in Japanese kanji, and there is a lot of writing as well as color coding. So it was really difficult to understand. But I did notice at least a couple of years ago um, when I was in Hong Kong, they started including an English inky list and that just made life infinitely easier. So I'm reviewing the different lines of their lotions, which I just call hydrators. These are hydrating formulas. Um, so you can call them hydrating toners, essence toners, or even hydrating serums. On a fundamental level, all these formulas will hydrate your skin to different degrees according to what you may need. These are simple, straightforward, nothing fancy, but highly, highly effective formulas that are also really elegant. Um, in fact, no matter what else I try, I always find myself coming back to these because these just feel and work the best for me. If you see two bottles that look pretty much exactly the same, but one of them has pink on it and the other has orange, the pink signifies it's a lighter formula that's more suitable for normal to oily skin. And the orange version means it is the rich or the moist version, which is for more dehydrated skin that might be normal to dry. So let's start off with the OG, the Hadalabo Gokujun Lotion. It all started with this one. I started using it maybe over 10 years ago. In fact, it was in my first videos on this channel. This is the original game-changing formula that focused on combining multiple weights of hyaluronic acid, something that we only started seeing become more mainstream in the West recently, just a few years ago. So the original combined three different weights of hyaluronic acid up until just last year. So this is the 2020 version. I really appreciate that as newer skincare technology and innovation is being developed, Japanese formulas will commonly upgrade to make their formulas better. So the big difference that I'm seeing in these new 2020 formulations and the ones I believe going forward is the addition of a fermented hyaluronic acid. As for user experience, it is the same, if not probably even better. The light version is very thin, very watery, but at the same time, it leaves your skin feeling super soft afterwards and smooth. I've always preferred the orange version. This is what I started off with. This to me can be used by everyone. This still feels substantial and it really gives you that kind of skin plumping and skin bouncy effect. This is also what I would use for my entire body. This is great for all over summer or even for layering in the winter time. This will stick those flakies down, but also sometimes it's just all you need in the summertime to have that plump, hydrated and glowing skin. Sometimes you just, I don't need a moisturizer in the summertime, but I also love using this in my hair. It really kind of hydrates your hair. So it has the four different types of hyaluronic acid. It also has D-glycerin as well as glycols. I mean, it's everything to make your skin just look really plump and healthy and hydrated. The new versions are also no longer formulated using parabens for those of you who are concerned about that. For the record, again, I am not, I have never been concerned about parabens. The Gakujin Premium Lotion is what I use the most. It is so effective. It is seriously heavy duty. I have never shied away from a thick texture. This is just instant comfort for very dehydrated skin, but it's also that immediate plumper. It makes your skin so bouncy. So again, I'm using the new 2020 version that just came out last fall. And this was actually what inspired me to do this roundup because I just love this formula so much. I didn't think you could actually improve on perfection, but this is an upgrade. I actually like it more. And really the most I was hoping for is that I wouldn't even notice a difference. They made a few changes in the formula. The previous formulas had five different weights of hyaluronic acid, and this has two additional ones. And one of them is the fermented hyaluronic acid. I'm not one who believes that a lot more instantly means it's better. In fact, it really has a lot to do with how well something is formulated. You know, that being said, this has more and it's better. But you know, that is not always the case. And for some of you, that just might be too much. For me though, with my dehydrated skin in the winter and while I'm retinizing, this is just right. This actually feels like I'm putting a really thick, comforting 
glaze of hydration over my skin, but then it completely sinks in. And for some, there may be a bit of a tacky feeling for me, maybe for just a short amount of time, but then that goes away and then it just feels really smooth and I can layer moisturizer over it and there's no pilling, which is, you know, always glorious. None of the Hadalabo lotions have ever caused any pilling. The other difference for me is it's definitely glowier. When I say I'm glazing my face, even after it's completely sunken in, I can see like a sheen on the surface of my skin. And I think that's a combination of, you know, obviously the increased hydration in my skin, but also the glycols and the glycerin. I also really love the premium because the third ingredient is a derivative of urea, which tends to be super calming on my skin, but also it's lightly moisturizing as well. So you can really feel it. After Gakujun, I would say my next favorite line is Shirojun, which is all about evening the skin tone and pigmentation. I'm gonna start with the Shirojun and the key ingredient here is it uses Arbitin. So Arbitin, like a lot of skin brightening ingredients, was developed in Japan. It is a derivative of hydroquinone and considered a much gentler alternative. I can definitely attest that it is gentler. I've never experienced any irritation using effective concentrations of Arbitin. Um, although with hydroquinone, I definitely have. The results will also be less dramatic in a shorter amount of time, but you just have to stick with it. So since this is a tyranase inhibitor and tyranase is the enzyme that is responsible for the formation of excess and darker melanin, then this really works more, or it's more for anyone who has darker or brown spots. So the brown sunspots, freckles, which I still maintain are lovely. But if those are your concerns, then this is what you would use. Obviously this alone is not gonna take care of all your hyperpigmentation issues, but as part of a routine that is geared towards, you know, fading dark spots, then this can be effective, especially if your spots are not too dark, if you have just light pigmentation issues. I have the light version here, which again is watery and a thinner texture. Fabulous if you have an oilier skin type or if you're in really humid climate and you just don't need too much. The rich or the moist version again will be indicated by orange on the packaging. The rich versions of all of these are nowhere near as, you know, intense as I would say the premium. The premium is almost a next level of it, of hydration intensity. So this also has two different weights of hyaluronic acid, very hydrating, um, but it also contains MAP, which is a vitamin C derivative. It evens out the skin tone and brightens the skin. Um, there's also vitamin E as well. And I was also kind of surprised to see that this has Job's tears in it as well, which is something that an ingredient I see in a, a lot of Taiwanese brands. Job's, te Job's Tears is a big ingredient in Taiwanese beauty. So um, yeah. Other than the Gokujin Premium, you will have seen me use the Shirojun Premium the most. In fact, I think these should be more accurately categorized as serums because they really are that concentrated. These formulas are very simple and focused. This uses tranexamic acid instead of Arbitin. This also has the two weights of hyaluronic acid, the MAP, the vitamin E, as well as other um, hydrators such as glycerin. It's just a more tight formula that's more concentrated and it's just very intense. So this is what I use. I am using the richer one, the one with the orange, of course. That's what I always go for. I really rarely go for the um, lighter versions. I found this to be really effective at evening out my skin tone and really keeping the pigmentation at bay, especially because I'm using it alongside tretinoin and also vitamin C. It really also works to help with the redness that I've been getting, you know, with my tretinoin use and with my retinizing. I've been relying quite heavily on this because, um, you know, the thing about tranexamic acid, while Arbitin is great at just, you know, um, fading dark spots, tranexamic acid kind of goes one step further and actually even addresses the inflammation and the redness that can turn into brown spots and hyperpigmentation, which is why it's kind of great to use when you are dealing with red acne marks, because especially if you have more pigmented skin, then those red acne marks can turn brown really fast. The Gokujun Alpha, especially the rich version, is one that I can probably use a lot more and will use a lot more at some point because I love the texture of this. And this line is more focused for aging concerns. It feels so bouncy, almost like an emulsion. So when you apply it on your skin, it is hydrating, but there's also a little bit of moisturizing that happens as well. It just feels really um, lovely on application. So this is actually supposed to help with the firmness of your skin. So this does contain a bunch of peptides for that, but also it has hydrolyzed elastin. There's also collagen, which makes it sort 
sort of moisturizing on the skin, but there's also metafoam seed oil as well as squalane. So this is not just hydrating, this has some moisturizing ability as well. So your skin just feels really bouncy. So the lotion that I had the least interest in using, I've only really just tried it um, because it's just simply not for my skin type, is the Koi Gokujun line. This one is specifically for acne. This feels very different to me than the other lotions. It's got um, just a little bit of a different quality to it, and it almost feels more like one of those Japanese skin conditioners or almost even like the Sekisei. You know, there's a herbal quality to it as well, but there's also, it's a little bit boozy, not that boozy, just a little bit. It feels moisturizing and then it's not. <laughs> when you apply it, there's a very sort of refreshing feel that comes from the fact that there's menthol in it as well. So, you know, your skin does feel cooler. It's not overwhelming, um, but I would say that if you're someone who's very adverse to that, um, or you have very, very sensitive skin, then this, this isn't for you. This has ingredients that are meant to calm the skin down, reduce inflammation. It also only has one form of hyaluronic acid, imagine that. Um, there's also some squalane in it, which is probably why it does feel sort of moisturizing when you first apply it. The problem is it is very temporary because I almost feel like the minute it dries down, it almost dries down drier on my skin. Also, the menthol can be very irritating to some, so it's not the same brand, same company. So I really also want to quickly give you my thoughts on this Milano CC anti-spot lotion. While the vitamin C is still up there for me as one of my favorite, favorite ascorbic acid formulas ever, this I would definitely give a miss. This actually uses 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, which is great for brightening, but as a formula on a whole, I kind of feel like if that is what you want, the skin brightening, the evening skin tone, then I would just recommend you go with the Shirojun Premium. I think this is stronger and I think it's even better at it. And also it's just a simpler formula. It doesn't have all these, you know, other like grapefruit and orange peel and all that kind of stuff for, for the brightening as well. So that's all I have to say. So that's it, everyone. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.